We back, keep up. On like two us here. Falling in love with two anyone. These girls have talent. They are, of course, of the YG family, which we have covered two of the YG bands today. You may have seen the Baby Monster, recent release of Forever. And then we covered a live performance of Treasure's Volcano. Check those ones out. That live volcano performance is heavy. And Baby Monster, we've all been waiting for new music for them. So we'd love to see it come out. But let's check out this one. Falling These, yeah. in love. These are the OGs. They are. They started out. They're what built up the YG wealth to the point. Well, that in his own career. And Big Bang. Which we still haven't caught a YG himself performance, right? Yeah, it's old. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody wants to see. They kind of want to see. Or it would be, you never see him. He should, like, get on stage with the bands one time. Nah. Ladies and gentlemen, YG! Nah, he's had his time. <laughs> I want to see it. We'll get to call the shots. So YG, we you want are, you out there. You are probably one and... You don't want to see... No. The, well, you're crazy, no. man. It's got to be epic. Anyways. Epic. Um, to anyone, twenty one. Can we call him twenty one? Blackjacks. You guys still call him twenty one? Um, you call him twenty one. Yeah, they were originally twenty one, and then they had to change because someone, some other singer, has a, a name twenty one. But I think I don't know. Blackjacks. Do they? Do you guys still call him twenty one? Anyways, um, this song's got a little bit of a reggae vibe to it. Nice. I like that. Um. Yeah. Is it like the reggae cover of this... Wise Men Say? <laughs> that one, I can't remember that one right now. But, uh... I think it was UB40. But it's essentially Falling in Love with You, the Elvis song. Oh, wow. But UB40 okay, covers yeah. it. Uh, I don't think it's anything it like that. It sounds kind of like Red Red Wine. Right. I know what you're talking about now. Okay. Well, nice. I love reggae vibe. I like uh, their dresses. They're looking great here. It's a little bit of a summer summer song. I uh, Perfect. It's appropriate. Enjoying the summer heat over here. I don't know what the, the weather's like over where you guys are, but it's a nice in the, the upper 70s here. A little bit of ocean breeze coming through. We're enjoying it. We don't get subtitles, but that's all right. So keep it. I can read their faces. Perfect. Their emotion will shine through. Perfect. It kind of looks like Lucy Liu there. Who? CL? Yeah. The way her head's tilted with her strong bone structure. Okay. I'm not saying she is, but she's getting that vibe uh, where she might pull out a katana and, and hit me with it. All right, let's check it out. To anyone or 21, falling in love. Okay, bye bye, luck. That is a good start. Kill them. Kill them. You ready? You ready? They look like they're ready? genuinely having fun. You ain't ready. Touch me over here. Touch me, touch me over there. Touch me over here. Touch me over there. Touch me over here. Touch me, touch me over there. Touch, touch, touch. touch. Blocker, blocker. 
you mine, boy. Nigga, no more why, boy. Give me, give me. Could you meet? Don't have a time and none. Silly, silly. Good on the media. Gonna talk or chicken stuff. Catch you, hunky, hug it up. No, what I'm in on your side. Keep falling in love, falling in love. Golden Game Boy. It <laughs> yeah, it looked like it. That would be awesome. That's pretty she's cool. Rich. And who's she? Did she say White Boy for a minute, real quick? I have no idea what part you're talking about. You, you like uh, the Caucasian boys, do you? Oh yeah, we're single. Call me. Call me. The reggae guy. Those dance. The dance looked like something like uh, an eighth grader would do for a talent contest. They were fun. And that music in the back. So basic. I like that. I liked it. And they're just like hopping around in part. I'm, uh, it I'm, seemed like fun. Yeah. I'm very interested in this group. Um, I want to get to know... I want to get to know them more. And Blackjacks, I don't know if you've heard, there's actually a rumor of a comeback for these girls. Ooh, that's right, because didn't they kind of get Cause they debuted, pushed by the wayside? Yeah, they debuted back in 2009, I believe it was. And then had a seven-year run. Did a couple of comeback things. They did a an epic thing at Coachella. But we don't we don't know this group that well. But I really want to get into get them because these are these girls like pioneered the the game. Early YG stuff. Yeah. Oh, really insane. Nice. Yeah, I'm down. I like their other songs. They're very gritty. They're old enough where <laughs> we can talk about them. Uh. But yeah. That particular song is an entertaining song and upbeat and nice. It's a little different. It's not like a banger or anything. Yeah, it's like a summer song. From what I gathered, this is like a little bit of a different sound for them. They do a bunch of different genres. I like that. Yeah. I like the change. And I like when the bands uh, sample out and do other things. That was very reggae and like the beat in the beginning. Right. And uh, going through there. So I liked it kind of like to know what they were talking about i got the falling in love Fall, part i fall. picked up the white boy touch me over here touch me over here touch me over there i i really and doubt and it, there's a white boy in the lyrics of that song blackjacks back me up on that i think she said white boy could be wrong even though she's they're clearly directing their attention at a not white boy that's right i think they brought it up and she said, I keep falling in love. Didn't stay with the same person. <laughs> Maybe she said, I'm through with white boys. Who knows? But I need to know because this channel grows and we get the chance. We're going to strike that chord. We're going to shoot that Cupid's arrow. Boom. Let's see what we can put together. Because I like, I like them. These I girls. Like the song. 
they are well they're not girls anymore they're they're grown li- women they're because they're like no longer little girls i know they want to have women. i know at least one of them is in like 40 years old that's fine it's perfect for us perfection i bet what yeah i mean 40 is the new 30 get those eggs frozen no trouble we can still make it happen i'm sure they're on top of it but who knows they're enjoying their careers so much we're adopt adopt from africa asia let's adopt one from every continent we got one north america south america could is there anyone in antarctica that needs to be adopted maybe we'll take a pregnant woman down to antarctica that doesn't want her child let her give birth there so then we can claim and adopt a child from the continent of antarctica as well what's this we stuff uh me and whichever one of them is into white boys I'm just saying, we have the money. I bring in my $20 every couple of months from K-Pop Unlock. Again, what's this you, we you stuff? You bring in millions we have of seen, dollars. We have seen zero, zero cents. Look, don't kill the dream just as it's born, Ku. Mm. It, could, it could happen. I'm thinking to the future, by the time we meet, once we've grown, we should be able to bring in $20 a month each. Not just 20. 20 each. <laughs> each. Yeah. We'll get there. Believe. It's a lot of money. With the place. help of the Blackjacks, with the help of you and your comments and direction, helping us find the precious gems, those precious 21s, the perfect hands to beat out the dealers, all the other uh, reactors out there with their subpar reactions you can't what this material okay so what i just noticed and the one on the left i think her name's dara dara does she, is that an ipod in her hand what is that uh it's a camera oh it's a camera that makes sense yeah they have that when they close that to protect the thing i guess i thought it was it kind of looked like an old ipod but i knew it wasn't because they had the metal backs mm. in the early ipods could be like a ripoff one but they did have the Golden Game Boy. And they got the boom box. South Korea's... Uh, I like the callbacks. South Korea's Samsung, anyways. They wouldn't have Apple products. Right? I'm sure there are plenty of people... Well, ne- by now, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, when did this video come out? Like 10 years ago, I want to say. Okay. It was... Well, still... It was posted 10 I mean, years South ago. South Korea isn't like second or third world. They can no, get, I know. They get the tech immediately. I know. You just think Samsung rules with an iron fist? Well, that's that's where you will not be bringing that's your their biggest to our country tech company in South Korea. True, true. How much of the market do they have? How much does Apple take? I mean, they take. Who knows? I mean, we use Samsung here, but we adopt everything. We're such technology whores. We will take everything. Take it all. I just love consuming. I can't stop. I'll take one of everything, please. That's what he says to me anytime I ask uh, if he wants something from the store. He says, one of everything. That's my dream. Yeah. One day we'll make it happen. Have you seen those videos where uh, they'll like buy everything in the store? No, I haven't. Yeah, they just be like, I'll take everything. Or like one of everything. It happens. I'll check it out. I don't know who it is, but they exist. You know these crazy, these crazy YouTubers that have like a crap load of money, and they they pull off random gimmicks. And they'll be like, "I'm gonna fill my house with foam. I just bought this three million dollar house, and now I'm going to fill it with foam for the channel. If we can get twenty thousand views, then I will donate this foam house to a charity in Botswana." Before you know it, just two years later, they hit that 50 thou mark. They've lost, well, it doesn't matter. Point is, lots of great stuff online. <laughs> if you do a deep dive in YouTube, you'll run across this crazy stuff. But to anyone, great stuff. Let us know uh, what's next to check out. Because my understanding is they did have some good stuff coming out in their seven year run. We wouldn't see it. What is spicy? Did we see that one? What's CL? CL, that's she's the leader of uh, 21. 
Oh. So that's her. Uh, so she's got her. She got her own. Yeah. Nice. I love catching the solo material too. So we'll have to yeah, get into that for sure. Kiss me, diamonds. Big bang into anyone. No, we saw. That. There's we a saw lot of. Lollipop there's thing. a lot of love for. Uh, this group, I can tell the just the blackjacks. Nice. So I hope. I hope you guys get that comeback. It'll be cool. Me too. That would be awesome. We will definitely cover it if it doesn't come. Until then, let us know what we should look at next. We look to you, Great Blackjacks and the Blackjack Nation. Not yet diminished. Just in hiding, waiting for the grand resurgence of 21. Pray for it. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Always appreciate it. But we'll be back regardless. So stay tuned. Kuos K-pop. Unlock. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.